Salam. Hello, we are. <laughs> Today is a great day because we are trying snacks from Kyrgyzstan. Woo <laughs> Howdy fellow foodie friends, who's your daddy here? Now before we get started, if you like snack tasting videos and food reviews and food challenges, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell, that way you don't miss out on any of the fun and that way you can be part of the Who's Your Daddy family. So today is an exciting video because I get the chance to introduce all of you to Zuzu. Hi. This is our new foreign exchange student. She's gonna be staying with us this entire school year and she was kind enough to bring us some snacks from her home country of Kyrgyzstan. So I wanted to share these snacks with you guys so you could see, along with us, what they're like. So without further ado, what should we try first? And first we can try first, uh, like your snack. Okay, it's tasty. It's um, uh, like your American snack, but it's Kyrgyz from fig. Oh, so yep. it's a little fig bar, okay. Yep. Okay, so that looks like a little granola bar or protein bar or something. Yeah. The second one is from uh, Apricot. Yeah. Apricot. So this oh, one okay. yeah. is the same company, only it's made Taste from of apricot. apricot. Oh, so the next one is is um, peach. It's a black peach. Oh. Black peach. Oh, so black the, peach. How cool. Yeah. We've got three varieties of fig, apricot, and peach. So we're gonna try, let's see. Fig first. Fig, apricot, and peach. Cheers. 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 Sweet, chewy, a little bit crispy, like it has seeds in it. That's okay. It tastes like a like an energy bar. It's actually yeah. an energy bar. Oh, it is an energy bar. Oh, so th these are energy bars. The next one with what? Apricot. Apricot, okay. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so I almost forgot that I'm wearing this hat, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> I uh, thought I should tell you that this was a gift from Zuzu. It is a traditional hat in Kyrgyzstan. And what's it called again? Akalpak. Akalpak. Yep. So it's a traditional hat that men wear in Kyrgyzstan to make you look taller. So don't I look taller? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and do you, want to, do you want to tell everybody about what you're wearing? Um, it's a jacket. For a girl, and this uh, jewelry, yeah, I'm not mm -hmm. in correct jewelry, way. Jewelry, yes, jewelry. jewelry. Mm -hmm. So these are all traditional. Yeah, that's always traditional. So it's not something you wear every day. If if I want, I can wear this every day. Mm -hmm. This too. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's not just for special occasions. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. And that is also a present from Zuzu. That T-shirt. Kyrgyzstan t-shirt. Kyrgyzstan. And there's the cave pictures. Their ancestors drew these in the cave. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so the last one is peach. But right? Black peach. peach. Black peach. All right, cheers. Cheers. This one is sweeter. Mm -hmm. This yeah. one is my least favorite. I think they're all about, about the same, but they taste like energy bars here. I'm not a huge fan of energy bars. So I probably give these about a six. Mm -hmm. I would, I would uh, rate it's like a seven. 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 Same. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do we have next? Uh, next we have pastilla. Is, is it just like a peach fruit roll up? Uh, you will taste it now. Okay. I don't know how to explain this. this you don't have in America something like this. Yes. No. Fruit roll up. Roll up. Or fruit and leather. Yeah, oh yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's like peach fruit uh, leather. Uh, it smells good. <laughs> <laughs> so this is pastilla? Pastilla. 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 Peach pastilla. Cheers. Mm -hmm. That's good. Tastes like a fruit roll up. It tastes like a homemade fruit roll up. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Yeah. I give that about a seven. I like it. Eight. I like it. Yes. Yeah. Eight. Okay. So is this really popular a lot of, ah. like with kids or with everybody? Everybody it is. Okay, that's good. So next thing is which one? Do this one? I uh, yeah. I have you have this one in America. 
uh, I don't know how to say it in English. Peanuts, yeah. Oh, they're peanuts? With uh, salt. Salted yeah. peanuts, I've never heard of those before. I'm kidding. Yes, he has. <laughs> Yep, smells All right. like peanuts. Peanuts. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. I don't think we even need to rate these. You probably know what peanuts taste like. I'm sorry I didn't get a video, but when Zuzu got here, I wanted her to try something American, so we made her a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So do you want to tell them what you thought of that? It was very tasty because like it's very American food, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and I think it will be my breakfast every day. Nice, good. And so you have peanuts in Kyrgyzstan, but you don't have peanut butter. No. That's weird. Peanut butter is very good, isn't it? <laughs> Should we try more nuts? Yeah. Do you have this one? Because it's also like peanuts. Mm, but it's without um, salt. Oh, they're just unsalted peanuts? We don't yeah. have to open those now if we don't want to. Okay. We yeah. call it uh, earth nuts. Earth nuts. Earth yeah. nuts? Yeah, not yum. <laughs> okay, so those are just unsalted though. They're right? not peanuts, they're earth nuts. So uh, you want to do this next? Uh, actually, this one is a gift from uh, my friend from Armenia. Uh, we met each other in Oregon and she gave it to me as a present from her country. If you see it, hello. <laughs> <laughs> that is very cool. I never tried this before. So they're Armenian, okay. Yeah. So these are Brezel crackers. It looks like just a standard snack mix. I like the little alligator mascot. Hmm. He makes me want to eat them. So it's just like pretzels and crackers, a little snack mix. Here we go, cheers. Cheers. It's salty. Did you think it was mm -hmm. gonna be sweet? Yeah. Hmm. This tastes like an American snack mix. Yes. Exactly. Like we have stuff like this. These are like just little Ritz crackers and pretzels. So, maybe... What next? The honey? Honey. It's from mountains in Kyrgyzstan. So, we got authentic mountain honey from Kyrgyzstan. I'm excited about that. Ah, it smells so good. Does it smell like the mountains? Yeah. It smell? Oh, it does smell very good. I love honey. It smells like honey, yeah. All right, here we go. Authentic. Kyrgyz honey. Cheers. That is really good honey. I, to me, most honey tastes the same, mm -hmm. uh, pretty much, as long as it's good honey. And that is really good quality honey. I like it. Yep. So we're not going to rate that either, because that's... It's a 10 out of 10. 10. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's 10 out of 10. Yeah, I agree. If you like honey, that is very good. So, this is... Wait, what, uh, what about these? Yep. All together? Oh, yeah. This is uh, kuros. Most of Americans that try this don't like this because oh. it's sour. Oh, uh, so my sister-in-law Sabrina was telling me about these. Are they like fermented yogurt balls? Yep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, I'm excited about th these. So we have a classic flavor and we have, what flavor is this one? Uh, it's um, cat. It's cat flavored. It's a cat soup, I think. <laughs> so do they eat these in Kazakhstan too? Uh, yeah, they eat in Kazakhstan, but they say not kurut, they say kur. So do you know what this is in English, this flavor? It's, there is, uh, you know, animal oil, and they fry this, and they uh, add some of this to yogurt and make the balls. Well, I'm excited. The fermented yogurt balls. They don't look too bad. Okay, so this is the classic flavor. It's and a most uh, popular most, snack. Increase. This is the most popular snack? Yeah, yeah everybody loves this. And what are they called again? Kurut. Kurut. Oh, kurut. 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 Cheers. Cheers. <sighs> oh, that, that's hard. It's sour a little bit. You're not going to like it. <laughs> I do not like it. <laughs> it reminds me of like a, a sour cheese, like a blue cheese. Kind of like that moldy cheesy flavor, like certain certain types of cheese. Does it have cheese in it? No. Just yogurt. Well, I mean, I guess yogurt is a dairy product and so is cheese, so maybe that's why I'm making that association. But to me, it tastes like a really hard, crumbly, blue cheese kind of flavor. That's good, I like it. Actually, kurots uh, size not like this. They're like this one. Oh, they usually bigger. make bigger ones? Yeah. I like that. 
the second one, it's a different type. Oh, those are darker. Mm -hmm. It's called Chabaga Kurut. Chabaga Kurut. Yep, perfect. <laughs> so you probably won't like this one either. But you should try. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, that's softer. I like this one better. It's more sour. It tastes meatier, like more savory. Mm -hmm. That first one tasted kind of cheesy. This one tastes like there's some kind of meat in it. Like we said, it was like some kind of animal oil. oil. It's almost like when you cook some ground beef in a pan and like when you scrape all the, the meat out and it's that the drippings, like the little crusty stuff that's left in the pan, if you scrape it all up, put it in a ball. That's kind of like what it reminds me of. <laughs> you don't like it. I didn't. Mm. <laughs> and how you rate this one? These are my favorite out of everything here. I probably give those about a 8.75. 7.5? Yeah. <laughs> Not quite a nine, but those are really good. I could I could easily snack on those a lot. She probably wouldn't like kissing me afterwards. <laughs> I thought I those like were good. I kissing him anyway, so. So, who's your mama? Overall impressions of Kyrgyz snacks, what do you think? I really liked the, what did we call them? Not the granola bars. The uh, energy bars. Energy bars and the fruit leather. Super good. What about yeah. the honey? Oh yes, the honey. I almost forgot. How could I forget? I'm sitting here eating it. My favorite thing. Absolute favorite. I love that other countries that are on the other side of the world, like Kyrgyzstan, they still have a lot of foods that are very similar to us. It's uh -huh. not really that unusual. I mean, the fruit leather, the energy bars, the peanuts, honey. And this one um, is unusual thing. Yes. The only unusual thing were these kurut. Every culture has a few things that is unique to them and that other people don't necessarily like. I really like these, these were good. But if you ever come across them, know that a lot of people don't like them because they're, I think they're Fermented. an acquired taste. Yeah, I would like to bring also like our national drinks, uh -huh. but it was prohibited. What's your national drink of Kyrgyzstan? Uh, bozo. Uh, Kumus, shoro, chalap. You know, it's like from the milk and like, like something like granola. Okay. Mix. Sounds good to me. Yep. Very cool. Well, thank you, Zuzu. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you show Zuzu some appreciation by hitting that like button and leave a comment down below. If you are familiar with Kyrgyzstan, is there anything else that we need to try or any types of food we need to make? And if you have any other ideas of other snacks that we can try, we have a whole stack of boxes of snacks that we need to catch up on. <laughs> we have all kinds of snacks from lots of different countries. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel because you don't want to miss out on any of the fun that we are going to have this year with Zuzu. So thank you very much. We will see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.